Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. Please do take whatever does resonate with you and simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions whatsoever you would like to contact me please do so. You can find all of my information um, right below into the YouTube description box so you'll be able to find there a list of readings and contact whatever you pretty much need is most likely there. So please do not hesitate. It will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto the subscribe button to uh, show your support to the channel and to myself. And it's always very appreciated. And I do thank you so very much. I would also like to take a brief moment to thank every single one of my subscribers. Thank you for being there and for listening and sharing and caring. Thank you. Also, thank you to all of these subscribers who have donated so generously to the channel. I do thank you and much gratitude. Thank you so very much. So let's begin this reading. These are messages that are coming from your angels, from your archangels, and from your spirit guides. So we have a lovely duo here. Uh, let's go see what messages they want to give you. So we're going to be speaking here about being yourself, which is not on the always an easy task. We're going to be speaking about your purpose onto this lifetime. We're going to be speaking about setting your intentions and about having some introspection. So let's just start off with some purpose. Now, these are messages coming from your angels, what I'm starting off with. I'm starting off with purpose because the angels want to remind you that every situation or every person is placed on your path with a very specific purpose. Now, it may be to strengthen you. It may be to offer you an opportunity to resolve or to forgive the past. It could be to release old patterns or it could simply be for enjoyment. Now, your life purpose is ultimately to do that which brings you joy, satisfaction, and fulfillment. So seeking these soul qualities are going to place you on to the path of your beautiful destiny. So once your life path, allow nothing once you're onto that path, nothing or no one to deflect you from your mission. Your guidance here is to ask your angel to help you find the purpose of your current situation. Or if, you're all, or if you are ready, not just your current situation, but why not your life mission? This is about aligning your strength and your willpower and holding your intention to fulfill your beautiful purpose. Now, the angels, they are going to support you and they want you to succeed. So this is about telling yourself at all times that you are strong and you are determined. You will stand your ground. You will find out what that purpose is and you will move on forward towards it. Your introspection, on the other hand, this is about your angel guidance who is there to help you find that quiet space, that little quiet space that you have within you somewhere for contemplation, for looking within, because it is time to withdraw. It's time to review your life. Now, taking time and space for yourself, it gives you an opportunity to recuperate from life's challenges. It gives you that occasion to reflect onto the way ahead to strengthen yourself and to prepare for the very next phase of your life. Now, during these times of introspection, you can become, you know, aware of your gifts, your inner reserve and of your wisdom. It is simply time for you right now to do some healing. This is about stilling your mind and quieting your emotions. Ask for your angel wings to unfold you and to provide you with a safe haven in which you can simply relax and just be. So then you can listen to all those promptings that your angels are inspiring and guiding you towards. This is about claiming that time. It's about claiming that space for yourself. Now, as for the um, guide messages, your guide messages, I have be yourself and I have set your intention. So be yourself. You choose to incarnate into this physical dimension for a very clear reason and a very clear purpose. You choose the correct circumstances to learn specific lessons. And if you stray from the original path because of peer pressure, because of feelings, because of wanting to fit in, the need for acceptance or fear of judgment or discrimination, 
then the experience that your higher self has chosen to invest its energy and focus on have been for naught. Now, when you receive this message, you need to examine. Examine how some emotions or some traits or desires that reflect your true self have been stifled or maybe even just hidden because you are afraid of presenting them to an unacceptable world. Please be aware that concealing your true colors is like giving your GPS that incorrect coordinate of your location. You are going to become hopelessly lost. Now let your true light shine because all things that are meant to be drawn to you shall find their way to you. Now we're going to conclude this reading over here with um, set your intentions. So this is about how you're living into a world of creation and within your mind you are able to manifest any situation that you want to experience. As long as you can clearly know what you desire and then you have to purposely set your intentions. And by setting your intentions, you are sending a conscious thought out to the universe. That thought is that you want something very specific to occur for you. And the universe is going to give you exactly what you are going to send out. So the clarity and the purity of your intentions is so very essential. And you then need to act as if your intentions have manifested. Now the key to manifestation is resting in your ability to hold the focus onto your intention and not to waver because otherwise you're going to confuse the universe's ordering. When you meditate and you commune with your guides you will only and you will actually often receive a vision of life event that you agree is worth experiencing. Now the spirit world is going to work on their end but it is absolutely incumbent upon you to set the intention and then to be open and receptive. Now like real seeds, intentions, they can't grow if you just hold on to them, right? When you achieve that clarity and you are ready to let go, release them into the universe so that they can find their fertile ground to grow. And the more you use your passion and the more you use that emotional energy to put forth your desire, the more energy you are going to be allowing the universe to use for the manifestation. So the very next step after releasing them is to let them go without any sense of attachment. Just remain centered in a restful awareness of receiving back to what is your highest growth. And this, my dear friends, does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that um, Spirit and your angels have brought you some very interesting messages that you will be able to use. If you have any questions whatsoever and you would like to contact me, please do so. It will be my great pleasure to assist you. Um, I wish you the best day. I thank you so very much. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. And I will be seeing you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.